Hi. Today we will see how to create images with a transparent background, using a diffuse layer. A tool that can be very useful when you want to combine different objects and backgrounds from different photos in one composition. You can install the diffuse layer through the manager. Just look for diffuse layer, press install, and restart to comfy. The models will load automatically as soon as you work with the diffuse layer for the first time. I will of course leave a link in the description of the video to the project's GitHub page. Here you can find more information, and see additional workflows for use with the diffuse layer. I must say that after the many attempts I made, with and without the diffuse layer, to connect different objects, and separate them from the background, I will probably use other tools, some of which we will see later. Let's start at the beginning, workflow is very basic. Checkpoint Dream Shaper 8 Latent, 512 by 512 pixels Let's connect preview node and see what we get. Excellent, now we need to use the nodes of the diffuse layer. We need layer diffuse apply, because I'm working with a 1.5 model, so we'll choose the appropriate model. Connect the model and return to K sampler. We're missing something but let's press Q and see what happens. As you can see the picture has changed, even though we have the same seed and no prompt, but I quite like the result so I will continue with it. Right now our image is not transparent in any way. And to get an image with a transparent background, we need to connect another node from the Layer Diffuse package. This node is called Layer Diffuse Decode, RGBA and it allows us to save the image as a PNG with a transparent background. Here too pay attention to which model you are working with, in our case 1.5, let's connect the latent to samples and the image to images and this to a new preview node that we will have for comparison, and click on Q. Great now we have a picture with a transparent background and you can see how you can actually see through the hair. Let's play a little with the position of the character in a new background, and that way we can get to know another useful tool that comes with the diffuse layer. Let's start by loading an image for the background, and I connect this image to the destination in Image Composite Masked. And to the source we will connect the image with the transparent background, and we will probably receive an error message, because we are trying to connect an image with an alpha channel to a normal RGB image. Let's try to combine the previous image we received, and here we see that it is an image without a transparent background. So that we can continue the work, and be able to integrate the figure on the new background, we need to use a slightly different node, called Layer Diffuse Decode without the addition RGBA, here also pay attention to the model, we will connect everything and notice that here we get the mask separately which we will connect to mask in the image composite mask node, and you can see that now we got the character with a transparent background, which allows a very reliable combination with the new background. So that everything will fit together in a more harmonious and visually pleasing way. Let's transfer everything to the second pass, and before we do the let's make sure to position the figure in a better way in the new composition, I want to enlarge the figure a little in relation to the background image. I use image resize, we'll do it 768 by 768, and to play with the position of the figure, I move the X and Y values. You have to remember that the point zero zero is in the upper left corner of the image, so if we want the figure more to the right, we will raise the X and if we want to lower the figure, we will raise the Y a bit contrary to the logic, but you get used to it pretty quickly. Once we have the desired location, all that remains to be done is to bring the image back to latent space, copy the case sampler and paste with Ctrl plus Shift plus V with all connections, change the seed and because I want the image very close to the result that we received, I will also choose a very low denoise. You can also add a positive prompt to this stage if you want, I will write, young girl wearing headphones, in background lake city lights, we will connect everything to a new preview node. And this is the result we got, so with the help of the layer diffuse we created a figure with a transparent background that easily blends into different backgrounds. So I hope you learned, and that we will meet in the next lessons.
You are of course welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and like, if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun.